everyone. It's me, Keegan. I mean, JC. And Brittany. And Eric. And you're watching the Smoky Mountain family. And today we're at... We are at Smoky Hollow Outdoor Resort here in Sevierville, Tennessee. And we're about to stay in a covered wagon. And we're going to be clamping. <laughs> Let's get it. <laughs> Headed down south to the land of the pine. Coming my way into North Carolina. Staring up the road. Pray to God I see headlights. I made it down the coast in 17 hours. Picking me a bouquet of dog with flowers. And I'm hoping for Riley I can see my baby tonight. So rock baby mama like a wagon wheel. Rock me mama any way you feel. Hey mama rock me. Rock me mama like the wind and the rain. Rock me mama like a southbound train. plays a guitar I pick a banjo now Oh, North Country winters keep getting me down Lost my money playing poker so I had to up and leave But I ain't a turning back to living that old life no more So rock me mama like a white gun wheel Rock me mama any way you feel Hey Mama rock me Pretty cool. That's a big bed. Yeah, it, it's king size bed. King size bed. We got lighting here, lighting there, up there. I guess in the center you could open this window. Yeah. <laughs> won't, won't be doing that tonight. No. A little space heater. Yeah, they but, also but they but they also have the Mitsubishi little yeah. unit there too. So there's plenty of heat here. And here's the oh thermostat. Gosh. Keegan just fell. I think I caught that. <laughs> see the stairs. Didn't see the stairs. Okay. Bunk bed. <laughs> I'm gonna go on top. <laughs> so they got bunks. So it says on the website that this is suited for four people. So you can see that that yeah. would be. I mean, there's plenty of space here for four. Yeah. They have got the a table. The wagon wheel table. Appreciate this. They have your towels, fridge, microwave, Keurig, and K cups. All kinds of them with a all bunch, the sugars, huh? all the creamer. They yeah, have some cards there too. This, I don't I guess, know what that game is. This is supposed to be so you can go to the bathroom at night. Probably so. I probably won't make it. Probably I'm probably make not going to make it here. And then there's the, the game, lighter, paper. Oh, chairs. look at all the look at this crystal yeah. geyser. Yeah. Big thing of water. For coffee. Or and I like that when we got here. Also, the heat was already on. Yeah. It's already warm in here. The check-in process was really easy. You pull up, it's not hard to find. Big sign out front, uh, turn in, shows you where the office is. Uh, we, I was in and out of there in little no time, and I did ask questions about it because you know obviously we're do, we're doing a video on it. So they do um, have Wi-Fi. Yeah, there is Wi-Fi out here. Um, and there's now, outlets. Yeah, those outlets here by as well. Bed. By the bed, Bob. By the bed. By the bed. So on one side and the other. obviously and this is an experience that you can use to like unplug though, mm -hmm. right, you know, but the option is here. They actually said, we don't know whether to tell them that there is Wi-Fi or there's not Wi-Fi because of, you know, that, that type of experience that's available. But it's really cool so far. Let's go see the Party outside. Room. Nothing's not cute, but this would be really cute in the summertime. You could cook out picnic tables yeah and these are brand new grills so this place just opened up so i mean look at that when's the last time you've seen a grill in that condition fire pit with oh we could do that tonight we're even ah there's supposed to be some snow coming in here in a little bit they have cornhole boards as well 
Now we're taking this way, but you can go up, there's steps to go up as well. Or you could drive the golf cart up too. There's a hammock. You missed it. Oh, what happened? Come on, King. You can do it. There it is. Oh, goodness. She just, she just like, I'm going to die or I'm going to hit it right. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> You got bunny poop on him. <laughs> She's still at it. Still at it. It's okay, baby. I have a big grill up here, too. Check this out. And a couch. Oh, that's really weird. Yeah, another fire pit. I thought it was saying that the restrooms were on the other side and not. No, nah, yeah, it's right there at that door. Let me yeah. see if anybody's in here. Okay, so here's the bathroom and showers. Oh, it smells so good. This is nice. Yeah. Like you could, I mean, it is nicer than a lot of hotel bathrooms. And this is a it is a shared bathroom. Yeah. There's two. But, but it it's so spotless. clean, spotless. They also shampoo. They've Again, got this shampoo place is shampoo. new. Like they they opened up for a soft open in November and really wasn't planning on continuing it through the winter. But got um, press and people kept wanting to stay, so they See just the opened bear? it up. Oh, the bear. And they have a second one over here. Same kind of deal. Looks the same. There's the mirror. They even got like big bottles of Aussie shampoo and conditioner in here. And this one, they had Dr. Teal's. Oh, really? Oh, nice. Here's the emergency kit. So they have an emergency phone and a first aid kit. Oh, they wow. They knew Keegan was coming. They can't tell him to be coming See, here. See, the phone's charged. Hit it. Yeah. Yep. They are on top of it, right? Yeah. You see, now we're kind of up here above the wagons. You can see them down there. And then the teepees. And Keegan's hammock. discovered she's scared of while glamping. That shadow is pretty creepy. <laughs> <laughs> the pack of wolves is pretty scary. And uh, if I have to pee, I have to go in the dark. Number three that scares Brittany <laughs> about glamping. Walking to the bathroom in the dark. It's really dark. Now don't look dark right here, because you got this light, and you got this light. What other people? There's no other people. I said if other people. Look at this, look at this. There is nothing. There was a wolf that just barked. Look at it. This would probably be a pretty good date night place, huh? No. Why? I am terrified. <laughs> Why are you terrified for, it was for a murder? Walking to the south, out of Roanoke. Caught a trucker out of Philly, had a nice long tour. Getting all packed up the next morning. From the Cumberland Gap to Johnson City, Tennessee. And I got to get a move on before the sun. I hear my baby calling my name, and I know that he's the only one that ever died. At least I will die.
spring. So rock me, mama, like a wagon wheel. Rock me, mama, any way you feel. Hey, mama, rock me. So rock me, mama, like the wind and the rain. Rock me, mama, like a southbound train. Hey. All right, so Smoky Hollow Outdoor Resort. We're not going to rate this, obviously. There's nothing we've never done to. <laughs> and we've yeah. never done anything like this. Like, I'm someone that when living in Fleming County in a house that had neighbors that you could see, turned on every light in the house to sleep. Out in the country. <laughs> yeah, I don't do it. But even with that being said, like, I had a really fun time. And I'll tell you, if you're someone that isn't like a camper per se, this is glamping. Um, you know, it felt cabin like in there I would forget that I was glamping because and the only time you remembered is when you would go outside to go to the bathroom and then I was like oh yeah oh no I'm camping (laughs) (laughs) I was like oh man but um even with me not being a uh, camper at all I had a really fun time and I'll tell you how I know that is when we got home um I was like that was really fun. You know, I was yeah. like, that was cool. You know, I wasn't expecting it to be that fun. Um, I loved the king size bed. It's huge. They had thought about the plugs. Bob, you'll love it. And the girls loved the bunk beds. You didn't feel squashed. Um, I've stayed at cabins that I would hit like my knee on anytime you go to walk because they try to cram too much stuff in there. And uh, I love the accommodations. Like there was granola bars, there was coffee. Um, they've thought they've thought a lot here. They're still growing. You know, they're going to get some out outdoor lighting and a bunch of other stuff. But um, some archery. Yeah, I liked it. They're gonna put a playground. It was cool to see the girls just playing with their horses in this environment. So, what do you guys think? I thought it was cool how it's like it's it's not that big, but it's like still big and like. They didn't cram things together, but they like put everything, it's, everything's still there. Everything had a space, didn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What'd you like, Jay? I liked it a lot. I, there was like, it, it, like how I like that. There wasn't like stuff where you could hit yourself on or there's not a thing where you could get hurt. It's not that um, ladder that I got hurt on. <laughs> <laughs> she's not a pro bunk better. She's not a pro bunk better. <laughs> or at least for top bunk. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's a bottom bunk. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So, what, so guys, let me ask you this. What was it like to spend the night in a covered wagon? It was cool. Like, it's cool, right? Besides when you had to go to the bathroom. <laughs> That's it. <Yeah. laughs> All right. So we are coming in at like uh, $250 on this. Um, this is an experience that I, I can't 100% say this for certain, but I don't think you get this anywhere else in Sevier County. Or anything uh, else. Or, like, or really, it, it, I don't know. Uh, really, I don't know of any other place that does this. Secondly, we stayed in a wagon, <laughs> in a covered wagon. So it was a really cool experience at night with they're all lit up. It's just a beautiful thing. Like the actual temperature was right around 15 to 17 degrees last night. There were wind chill warnings that was coming through in the negatives, and you would never know it. The girls were like, I'm hot. Yeah, they were like, <laughs> we can turn the heat down. And I mean, this is, we're talking, you know, this is legit canvas yeah. here. Uh, you know, so it, th- that's really cool. We did not get cold whatsoever. Uh, when it gets warm, this place, by that time, they're going to have some other things in store. And this is going to be a premium place to, to stay. It's a it's a one-of-a-kind experience. It's already good. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's already good, okay, even I, when it was cold. Yeah. I wanted to mention something. It's so cool how you get to ride, like, a golf cart up yeah, here. Yeah, it it's cool. really cool. Yeah. So that's another thing we forgot. Obviously, you, you've seen this, but... Um, you know, we, they, you can rent a golf cart and, and come down here. Cause it is about, I don't know, probably about a thousand feet from the, the check-in to the wagon. So you can get that golf cart and ride up here. So I think that the girls enjoy that just as much as staying in the, in the thing. Yeah. 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 So at any rate, guys, um, we are going to, in the description, I'm going to leave a, um, the information for Smoky Hollow in the description. So if you guys want to go ahead and book some time for when you plan on coming, Give, us, give this place a try. It's a really cool spot. We had a great time. And I guess we will see you next time. Thanks, Bye. guys.
All right, we're here at Smoky Hollow Outdoor Resort, and we're with Robert and Rebecca, and they're going to tell us just a little bit about their journey to the Smoky Mountains and the whole idea behind the outdoor resort here. Great, I'm Rob, by the way, um, Rebecca. Uh, our outdoor resort actually originated from a couple of friends of ours that uh, were here camping. We were doing some RV camping, and they were here camping, and they just happened to see the covered wagons at a show. And they threw that bug in our ear. And after that, we saw the wagons ourselves. And it was like, wow, this is what this place needs. It needs something different. Originally, I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, my wife, Rebecca, is from Orlando. We've always had a love for uh, traveling and exploring and being outdoors. And um, I think just those four years on the road um, just created this desire in us to do something fun and unique as a family. Mm -hmm and uh, just stumbled across this property and, and here we are today. So what made you guys decide to come to this area, the Smoky Mountains in particular? We kept coming back here. Oh, uh, we kept yeah. coming back. When we were traveling, we'd be out west and we'd end up back here again, so. Yeah. Uh, when the fires happened, we were living in Pigeon Forge at a campground and the next day we were at the, with the Red Cross down at the LeConte Center. And it was just the outpouring of the community and the people here, just, it just, it touched both of us so much so that even though after we traveled we've seen a lot of beautiful places there's no place like the smokies well we really do appreciate you guys taking the time to um you know to talk with us and give us a little insight about why it is you are doing what you're doing really do appreciate it thank you guys thank you for coming